Hey everyone, I'm Andrea Bogart. Welcome to a 45 minute mindful yoga flow. This is gonna be a hip and a heart opening practice today. And I encourage you guys to modify, use challenges as I offer those up. Take good care of yourselves. Let's have some fun. We're gonna start in seated. So make your way to your mat if you're not already there. Cross those ankles, sit up nice and tall as you feel your sit bones anchoring through the earth. If you're a little tight through the hips, a great little elevation with a rolled up towel or a pillow can always serve you well here. And then just close the eyes or drop the gaze to a softness. We'll take our first few minutes of our practice to simply get grounded, start to yoke together that mind, body, spirit connection. Just feel your room, your environment, wherever you may be this morning practicing. Honor that space in which you've carved out time just for you for 45 quick minutes. And start to find your breath. Deep inhale through the nose, big exhale through the mouth. A few rounds of breath just like that. Full breath in. Open mouth side out. One more time. And then we'll gently start to find ujjayi breath, fancy way of saying breathing in and out through our nose. So let your lips press together and continue to find that balanced, even flow of breath. You should feel a bit of a richness at the back edge of your throat, kind of swirling. We want to find that even flow. Just notice how present the breath work has brought you into this space. Let that beautiful breath work carry you throughout this entire practice, keeping you present, focused, energized, and relaxed. Bring your hands into your heart center. Take a moment. Think of something you are truly grateful for. Breathe that into your heart space. Allow it to feel uplifting, a smile through your heart, your, your face. Blink the eyes open. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, rise up. This time we'll add a twist on the exhale. Left arm comes over the right knee, right arm sweeps behind. Gentle, tender twist here. Inhaling as we lengthen, exhaling as we twist. Feeling that lift from the base of your spine. Inhale, both arms sweep back up. Exhale, reverse. Right hand down, left arm behind. And if you're opposite, that's okay too. Inhale, both arms reach back up. Exhale, fan the hands out wide this time. Interlace them behind your low back. Roll the shoulders back first. Big heart opener. Oh, feel the stretch through the collarbones. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Continue to draw that belly in. Your knuckles might be resting on the ground or they might be slightly elevated. Release that. Put the hands on top of the knees. Just roll the shoulders out a little bit. Really nice, guys. And then we're going to just hinge that heart forward and start to make circles around with your torso, one direction. All the while, we're trying to keep that nice connection to our inhale and our exhale moving throughout our practice. Good. Let's reverse. Give that other way some love. Just loosening up through the shoulders, our midsection. Right back up through neutral. Beautiful. We're going to kick the heels out in front of us. Bring the hands behind us. Fingertips are facing your glutes. We're going to press up to reverse tabletop here. So just lift the chest, the pelvis up. Gaze can be up towards the ceiling. Opening up through the collarbones again. I feel this really through the tops of my shoulders, the rotator cuff. Breathe in here. 
Feel your inner thighs continue to spin down. One more breath. Exhale, release the sit bones down. Draw the soles of the feet together. Interlace the hands over the tops of the feet. Roll the shoulders back. Feel a heaviness over your knees as you just drop. Start to drip that heart forward over the toes. Breathe here for a few breaths. Think of each vertebrae lengthening here. So if you're really feeling rounded, that's okay too. Just try to pull the heart forward so you feel the back really lengthening. A few breaths here, feeling our hips get a nice little opener here. Gently roll up from this. Sweep the legs around, we'll come into all fours. Fingers spread nice and wide, really press down through the entire circumference of your hands. Shoulders stacked right over the wrists and hips over the knees. We'll work through a few cat cows to warm up our low spine. Take a deep inhale, arch the back, chest and collarbones bring up. Exhale, fully round, draw the navel in, press the earth away. Let your breath trigger your movement. Inhale, we arch, cow pose. Exhale it out, fully round, cat pose. One more breath, full inhale, cow. Exhale, release, cat. Come back through neutral spine. We're going to tuck our toes, lift our hips, glide into your first downward facing dog of the day, perhaps. Start to just shift a little side to side. Wrap the upper arms towards the tip of the nose. Give your head a little gentle shake out here. Yes and no. Then let the head stay soft between the biceps. If you're really sticky through your spine and your hamstrings or one or the other, just allow a little more space between the feet and maybe even a little soft bend in the knees. Otherwise, hip distance is a good place to land. Inhale, heels up nice and high. Bend the knees really deep. Press the chest back, hovering thighs, knees towards the earth. Good. Straighten the legs back up. Inhale. Exhale. Roll the heels towards the earth. Feel the thighs draw back. Belly in. Pressing the floor away through the palms. Inhale. Forward to plank. Dynamic movement. Means we're moving with our breath. Exhale. Send it up and back. Downward facing dog. Again. Inhale. Brings us forward. High plank. Top of a push-up, everything's engaged. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale forward to plank, top of a push-up. We're gonna let this first chaturanga be modified. So release the knees down, keep the elbows hugged in. Shoulders over wrists as we bend and hover for three. You got this, two. Release your belly all the way down to the earth, uncurl the toes. Peel up, baby cobra, tops of the shoulders lift, inhale, exhale, forehead back to the mat. Inhale, feel the tops of your feet press and the palms press, baby cobra, exhale, release it down. One more time, inhale, baby cobra, and exhale, release it down. We're going to slide our elbows up to come into sphinx pose, so forearms are on the mat, shoulders align with the elbows. And our first hip opener here, we're going to draw that right knee up towards the outer hip. And the ankle is aligned with the knee. It's like a half frog leg, okay? If this is too much pressing up into the forearms and that feels a little too strenuous on your hip, just lower the arms down. Come a little lower, okay? One more breath here. This feels really good. Breathe into that if it doesn't feel so good. Remember, you can always back out of things if they're just not quite feeling what your body needs today. Gently slide that right knee back, and then we'll reverse. Left knee comes out. Again, you're aligned with your hip. The ankle is aligned with the knee. Breathe here. It's a nice little stretch through your low back as well. So I'm pressing through the forearms, lifting the heart. I'm getting a hip opener, a little bit of a back bend at the same time. Gorgeous. We'll slide that left leg back and then release the chest down. Let the arms come back underneath next to the floating ribs and then inhale, press all the way up to upward facing dog. Traditionally, your thighs are lifted here. If you need to modify, come back down to baby cobra. We'll lift your hips, 
Send it up and back, flip over those toes to downward facing dog. You can always modify through vinyasas. I'll give you those modifications as we move. We're going to fluidly move through one. Inhale, forward to plank, top of a push-up. With or without your knees, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Pull through to baby cobra or full upward facing dog. And then send it back to downward facing dog. You can also skip the chaturangas and just hold plank. That's a great shoulder stabilizer. I'm a little less invasive on the back and the neck and shoulders. Inhale, heels nice and high. Bend the knees, look forward, walk feet up to the hands, hip distance apart. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fold it back in. One more, just like that. Inhale, lift halfway, hands can touch the earth or the sides of the legs. You just don't want them floating out in space. Exhale, fold it back in. Bend the knees a little deeper. Interlace the hands behind the low back. Roll the shoulders up and up and over. Let the head relax. Draw the energy up through the inner arches. Legs are strong. Breathe here. If this is too much, you can always keep a micro bend in the knees too. Use a towel or a strap here if the interlace is too much for the arms. Release the hands down, bend the knees deeper, draw your navel in, roll it up, vertebra by vertebra. Nice and slow, all the way up until the head lands. Beautiful job. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way back up. Inhale. Collect the hands to your heart. Samasti. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your heart. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Plant the hands. Step your left foot way back into a low lunge. Stay on those fingertips for a minute. Check in. Right knee aligned with the right ankle. Heart forward. We have a little buoyancy, lifting here, strong legs. And then gently release your left knee down, sweep the arms up for Anjaneyasana. If you need to modify this, you can always place the hands on your thigh. Sweep the arms up if you're in that full expression. Getting a deep stretch through our left psoas, right through the front of that leg there. Breathe here. You can lunge as deep as you want into that. You can also ease your way out of it if it feels too much. You got this, guys. Really strong. Keeping that beautiful breath work moving in and out through the nose if that's available. And we're going to grab a quad stretch here. Right arm comes to the right knee. And then start to pull that left heel in towards your glute. Left arm sweeps back to find that ankle. Be mindful of your left knee on the ground here. If you need some extra cushion, you can always add that there. A few rounds of breath right here. Ooh, that feels good. All my Pelotoners out there, my runners, it's a good one. If you want more intensity here, you're welcome to sweep that right arm back and both arms hook onto that ankle. Roll the shoulders open, and yet again, you get another little heart opener. Beautiful. Gently release the leg. Try not to fling it. Sweep the hands down. Retuck the left toes. Left knee comes up off the mat. We start to straighten through both legs. You can press the palms to the earth here. If you had blocks, you could use blocks either under hand here. And just breathe into that. A few rounds of breath. Pyramid pose. Your back heel can be lifted or down here. And same with the front toes. Lifted or down. You want to get a stretch through that front hamstring, opening up the legs. Beautiful. Inhale, let's take a rock step forward. Left foot meets the right. Inhale to lift our heart. Exhale, fold. Bend the knee, step back right foot now, reversing. Stay into that lunge for these first few breaths. Really firing up the legs. Hips are nice and neutral. And then gently release that right knee to the floor, uncurl the toes, sweep the arms up or to the knee for Anjaneyasana. Getting that stretch across our right psoas now. Continue to feel the upper ribs and belly draw in. 
And then we'll grab that quad stretch on our right foot now. Left arm comes to the top of the knee, right ankle sweeps in, heel towards the glute, and we find the top of that foot. A few rounds of breath right here. And perhaps if you took that more intense approach, left hand reaches back, roll the shoulders back. Again, being really mindful of that knee. We have to remind ourselves in our practice if something doesn't feel good, there's a difference between challenging and adding unwanted stress or strain in the body. So we have to listen, make some wise choices. Gently release that down, fingertips come to the earth. We start to straighten through both legs, hips, hips shift up and back, getting into that left hamstring. Breathe here. Really send some breath to any part of the body that feels a little more sticky, like it hasn't gotten a good stretch in a minute. <laughs> Beautiful. We'll take a rock step forward. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, lift the heart halfway. Exhale, fold it back in. Rise all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. You can keep your feet hip distance apart, especially if you have a sticky low back, or traditionally toe heel the feet together and have a little sliver of space between the heels. So we head into Utkatasana chair pose. Bend the knees, sweep the arms high. Draw the navel in. Feel your heart lift as the weight shifts back through the heels. Feel that lightness through your toes. Last three breaths, just building that strength through our legs. Really nice work, guys. Exhale, fold, let this go. Inhale, lift your heart, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Bend the knees, plant the hands, and step it back to high plank, top of a push-up. Shift shoulders over wrists, moving through your vinyasa if that's available. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, we meet back, downward facing dog. Three breaths. We're going to start to build some heat and a little sequencing here. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, lightly step it through. Warrior one, back heel releases down. Sweep the arms high. You want to feel your torso neutral to the front of the room. Your right hip draw you back, left hip forward. Just find that effortlessness within your effort, that softness and ease through your strength. And staying deeply connected to your breath. Beautiful. Left arm is going to come under, right arm on top for a half eagle wrap. We're going to inhale the elbows up high. Exhale, dip the elbows to that inner right thigh. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, dip to that inner thigh. Inhale, back up through neutral. Unravel, open up warrior two. Find heel to arch alignment. Wrapping that right hip under. Knee tracking right over that middle toe. Sink deep into that warrior. Check in with your back foot. Make sure those toes are at that slight angle forward. So your heel is closer to the back edge of your mat than your toes. Really great. Just a strong and steady warrior pose here. Flip that front palm up. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale. Back through warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse through warrior. Exhale, back through warrior two. Right elbow to the top of the thigh, top arm up high. You can stay right here in this modified side angle or slide the right arm down behind the right ankle for a deeper expression of side angle, Parjvokanasana. Breathe here, you feel your heart rotating. Wrapping that right hip under, legs are strong. Good, release that left hand down. Right foot slides back, high plank. Lower through chaturanga. Pull over the toes, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lift your hips and it back down dog. Full cycle of breath before we inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw it in knee to nose. Pull the heel towards the glute. Inhale, send it up. Left knee, left elbow, nice and high. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, lightly slip it through, warrior one. Back heel releases down, arms sweep high. Nice deep lunge of that front leg. And again, heel to heel stance here is nice. So you give that right hip a little space to come around. Really nice warriors. Let's take that half Garudasana, right arm under, left arm on top. Inhale, elbows lift. Exhale, elbows dip inside the thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dip. Inhale, back up to neutral. Unravel, find warrior two. Heel to arch alignment now. Again, sinking deep into that warrior. Listen to your hamstrings. Wanting to feel that challenge. A lot like what 2020 is for us all, right? <laughs> but try to find that ease and acceptance with each posture. Flip your front palm up, reverse your warrior, inhale. Deep side body stretch here. Exhale back through warrior two. Again, reverse the warrior, inhale, and exhale. Modified side angle, elbow to the thigh, top arm up high. Again, this is a great option to stay right here. If you want a little more intensity, left hand comes behind that left ankle. I'm on my fingertips and I'm feeling my knee press to that inner elbow. Breathe here. Finding more space in your body. Deeper inhales and exhales. Release the right hand down, come into a low lunge, step it back high, plank, move through your variation of Chaturanga. Or Nadaranga, you can skip it. Send it back down or facing dog. Inhale, heels high. Bend the knees, empty out the breath, and we're going to walk the hands back to the feet. Good. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Going to come into tree pose, Virkshasana. Ground down through the right foot. Give your left heel a little kick out. And then your options are sliding up to the lower calf below the knee or above the knee all the way to that inner thigh. If you feel like you're really unsteady and you know you need a wall for support, you can take this one to the wall. Good, and when you're ready, find that full expression. A little bit like the remnants we feel from our half frog pose we did on the floor earlier. Hips nice and neutral. We're going to keep the arms lifted. Bring your knees straight forward now. Left knee. And now kick that leg out for an extension of three, two, one. Release that down. Hands to heart. Beautiful job. Switch into the left foot. Left foot grounds down. Kick that right heel out. And then you decide below or above the knee. 
Hands at your heart center, powering up your drishti, that steady gazing point. I feel my thigh pressing into my foot and the foot pressing into the thigh. Full expression, deeply rooted like a tree, and expanding through our branches, feeling that uplift. Beautiful, bring the right knee forward up to the chest. Kick that leg out for three, two, one. Release it down, nice job. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, goal post the arms, release that thoracic spine. Big heart opener again. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, hands to heart. Utkatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms high. Adding a little dynamic movement to our chair. Let the chest fold and arms sweep back. Inhale back to chair. Exhale, let it fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, we fold. Back to chair last time. Let this one fold to the earth. Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, walk it back out, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Same sequence, a little add-ons. Inhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, lightly step it through, warrior one. Release the back heel down, arms sweep up. Half eagle wrap, left arm under, right arm on top. We're gonna pivot to our back toes. So now we're in a crescent lunge with our half eagle wrap. We're gonna step this up into full eagle, Garudasana. So step it up, lift the knee, cross it tightly over that right thigh. You can hook that heel, let it float out in space, or use it as a kickstand if you need it this morning. Breathe here. Locking the thighs, locking the elbows. Beautiful, unravel, we step back into warrior two. Back heel releases down, soften the arms. It's a little tricky one there, nice transition. Good, sweep both arms up, straighten the legs, inhale. Exhale, back to warrior two. Reverse your warrior, reach up and reach back. Stay with your reverse warrior and just start to straighten the front leg. It becomes reverse triangle. Bring the arms through to neutral and we'll drop into triangle pose. Right arm forward. Reach it down as left arm travels up. Another great place for your blocks if you have it. You can place it outside the foot here. Rest lightly into the shin or let that arm hover. And then keep a micro bend behind this knee as you press into that big toe mount. We're going to take our Trikonasana up to Warrior Three, Ardha Chandrasana. Bend through the front leg, shift the weight forward, use the fingertips on the earth or a block if you need that for support. Find that full expression from all four points of your body expanding. Maybe drifting your gaze towards the side. Beautiful, gently, mindfully release your left hand down. Square your hips off. Put a softness in that standing leg. And then left foot meets the right. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, take it through chaturanga, or be willing to hold your plank if you want to skip it. Inhale, up dog or cobra. We meet back downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, curl it in, knee to nose. Inhale. Left knee, left elbow. Inhale. 
Exhale, lightly step it through, warrior one. Back heel releases down. Heel to heel stance, and then right arm under and left arm on top. We start with that half eagle wrap, pop to the back toes so the heel is now lifted. Find that support through your front leg and we start to lift right knee up, cross it tightly over the thigh, sit back into that weight of your heel. Full Gavrudasana, locking the elbows and the thighs. Full inhales, deep exhales. As we lift up, unravel, open up warrior two. How graceful can you get there? Nice work. And take it into reverse warrior, sweep it up and back. We're light as a feather into that back hand. Now start to straighten through the front leg, it becomes reverse triangle. Exhale, release the hands. Come in and triangle pose. Left hand down, right arm up. Finding that expansion across your collarbones. Wide span. We sail it up into half moon. Shift into that front leg, fingertips to the floor or a block. Flexing the toes and we feel the right hip point lifting towards the sky. Last three breaths. Slowly put a bend in that standing leg. Square the hips off as the fingertips come down. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's take Malasana, deep yogi squat. Separate the feet, mat width. Drop the sit bones down. Elbows to the inside, lifting your heart, rolling the shoulders down your back. It's up to you here. You can stay right here in Malasana. If any of you want to practice into a crow pose, Bakasana, plant the hands down. I would shift back to make sure you're on your mat fully. And then crawl the knees high into the bridge of the arms. And then an option for you to play with one or both toes coming off the earth. That's if you feel like getting into a little arm balance today. No pressure to go upside down. You can stay right here. Just nurturing this deep rooted squat. Gently release the hands down. Start to walk yourself back, just pedal back into downward facing dog. Beautiful job, inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, lightly step it through, crescent pose. Reach the arms up, inhale. I'm gonna add a little dynamic movement, lowering our left knee towards the earth and cactus the arms out to the side. Good, inhale. Exhale, knee dips. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Come back into crescent lunge. Beautiful. Bring the hands into your heart center. And warrior three. Hinge your heart forward. Sail it up into warrior three. We want to make sure that left lifted pinky toe is anchoring towards the earth. You can keep your hands right at your heart center. If you want a little more, you can always reach the arms out. I don't feel like I need more at this juncture, so I'm gonna bring my hands back to my heart. I'm breathing. Slowly, mindfully come back into crescent lunge. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Release your left knee down to the mat. 
Toe heel your right foot to the outer edge, both hands on the inside. Getting deep into our lizard pose here. You can shine the sole of the foot for a minute if that feels good. Or keep that knee hugging in towards your right shoulder. And gently maybe making your way down to your forearms. If you want more intensity, you can always re-lift that left knee off the mat. Good, gently release that down, press back up. Slide that right foot back into plank. Your decision, either through a vinyasa or skip it. We meet back, downward facing dog. Really nice into that left side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through, high crescent lunge. Back heel stays lifted. Find that extension on your inhale. As we exhale, right knee lowers and hovers towards the earth. Inhale, sweep it up. And exhale. Two to go. Exhale, awesome. Last one. Reach back up, Ooh. hands to your heart center. Power up your drishti, steady gaze. Hinge your heart forward. And I literally sort of drag my foot up until I can lift it. Think of your torso, long line here with your heel. Right pinky toe angling towards the earth. Strong and steady mind. You've got this one more breath. Beautiful, send it back, low lunge. We'll sweep the arms to the floor and come into that lizard pose. Both hands to the inside, left foot to the outer edge. You can stay on the knee here or float the knee back up depending on how deep you wanna get into your lizard. Make your way down to your forearms if that makes sense. Heart forward, maybe re-lifting that right knee. Really nice release that foot down, press back up to your palms, sweep that leg back, come into plank, lower all the way down to your belly, four, three, two, one, beautiful. I'm gonna come right into Dhanurasana, bow pose. If that's too much for you to grab the ankles, stay with legs long and arms long for locusts, okay? So heels grabs if you can do it, grab onto the top of the ankles, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart, kick the feet into the hands, big heart opener, nice little back bend. One more breath. Slowly release that down. Put your left cheek to the earth. Give your hips a little shake out. One more time. Yogi's choice. Either locus, legs extend, arms extend, everything is lifted, or Dhanurasana, bow pose. Grab onto the ankles, draw the shoulder blades into each other. Awesome, release that down, hands come underneath the chin. Curl the heels back into your glutes and just windshield wiper side to side. Beautiful guys, gently come back up to the forearms. Sphinx pose again, we're gonna tuck our toes, get into the core for a minute. This is modified forearm plank, you can keep your knees right here. If you're feeling fatigued, I'm feeling pretty fatigued. <laughs> if you want a little more, float the knees up. Hold it for five, just four. We got this, three, two, one. Press it up to plank, shift it up and back, down dog. Beautiful, we're gonna head into single pigeon now. So bring the right knee through, out, 
to the outer hip. You want it outside the hip, outside the wrist. Let your left toes be a helper to back into it. If you need support underneath your right glute to help lift a little, use a towel, a rolled up towel or a soft pillow. If you know that this does not serve your knee well and you feel strain in your knee, take figure four on your back, please. You can find an extension through your spine here and then take all that length forward if that feels good. You can come all the way flat down. Just find the variation here that feels good for you guys for another minute. I feel the softness and the sweet surrender through your breath. Single pigeon. We hold a lot of emotions in our hips, so just be aware, meet anything that might show up today with some grace. Beautiful, start to press back up to your palms from here. Re-tuck your left toes. We'll just glide it back through a plank position and switch it out. Left knee comes forward outside the left wrist and hip. I use my right toes as a little helper to nestle down into it. Find that extension through each vertebra. And if it feels good, you can take all that length forward. Just notice in your single pigeon if there's anything that's sort of strained feeling or a gripping sense. See if you can softly breathe into that area. Allow the breath work to just soften the body. This time as we gently come up, we're just gonna shift over onto our left glute and we'll swing this right leg around. Stretch the legs out long in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. Paschimottanasana, forward fold over the legs, reaching out with all that length from your vertebra. This is another great place if you had a strap or a towel or even a sweatshirt, you could use that if you need some assistance with the extension here because the goal is to be, rather than rounding into the back, to be really lengthening the spine so we feel the stretch down the back of the legs. And for some of us, it's up here, and that's okay. It's what our bodies can do for us. We have to honor what they can do, right? And you sort of feel the length of the spine. One more breath. Beautiful, gently roll up from this. I'm gonna slide the bum forward. Just use your core strength, arms out in front to lower all the way down to your vertebra. One at a time, all the way to the back. Beautiful, let's press up to one bridge pose, nice energizing pose. If wheel is in your practice, you're welcome to transition this right into wheel as well. Interlace the hands underneath, perhaps rolling those biceps under. Feel the inner thighs drawing down towards the earth for three. Again, if wheel is in your practice, you can give the mat high fives, press to the crown of the head and press up to your back bend. Take one more deep breath, whichever posture you're in, bridge or wheel, and gently, mindfully make your way down. And then we'll come into happy baby. You grab onto the outer edges of the heels, elbows on the inside. Take a little rock side to side as we feel our sacrum lengthen and flatten towards the mat. Maybe stretch out one leg at a time. Back through neutral. Beautiful, gently release the heels down. And then stretch the arms out to a T and then we're gonna cross that right leg tightly over the left. Shift your hips over to the right and drop the knees to the left. This is a pretty deep twist. If you prefer something a little less, you can just stack the knees. Feel the shoulder root down. You can always look over your right palm. Inhale back up through neutral. And then either knee stacked or cross, left thigh over the right, shift the bottom, 
and then drop the knees. I'm gonna take a little less. My low back has been sticky. One more breath. Inhale, come back up through neutral. If there's anything else your body is calling for before heading into a sweet Shavasana, please take it. Otherwise, stretch the legs out long. Let the arms flop open heavy. Take one more full deep breath in and sigh it heavy out through the mouth. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Just allow your body to feel so grounded, so supported by Mother Earth. Allow just a wave of gratitude to flood over your body. Let all the expression melt softly away from the face. And simply just receive the benefits of your practice, allowing all the work to fall away. Shavasana. You're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. If you're ready to jump back into your day, just gently roll the ankles and the wrists around, brush the fingers. Take a deeper inhale as you sweep the arms up over the head. Walk the heels towards your glutes, making your way over to your right side, pausing there for a minute. Reminding ourselves of this life cycle of ending to begin again always available for us. Gently press yourself all the way back up to seated. Sit up nice and tall, we'll close the eyes. And to close our practice, take one more deep inhale and sigh it heavy out. <sighs> Bring your hands in your heart center, honoring the space in which you arrived today. Cultivating breath, and yoking our mind, body, spirit together. Take this feeling that you have right now into everything that you do today. You guys were tremendous. The divine light in me shares and honors that same divine light within all of you. Namaste. I'm Andrea Bogart. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you soon.